Friends is the type of show that you wouldn't expect someone like me to have a lot of nostalgia for, and you definitely wouldn't expect someone like me to retain a certain degree of respect for it, in spite of the fact that I, like lots of people who fault it, do share a similar distaste for the particular way in which it's affected and influenced pop culture. What makes me really like Friends, and what sets my viewing of it apart from lots of other people's, is that it's not meant to be taken at face value, and yet lots of people appear not to have noticed. Loads of people have never approached it with a sense of tongue-in-cheek irony, because essentially, it's about some fucking horrible people with stupid vacuous worldviews, and it's aware of that fact. It's, it's a satire, guys. You did realise that, right? It takes the metropolitan empty-headed 20-something and makes them the butt of the joke. I suppose it all depends on whether you're the type of person who can openly laugh at yourself and the culture you come from, rather than get defensive about it, and I essentially do precisely what Chandler does. I use humour as a defence mechanism to try and avoid facing up to the realities of life and feeling trapped by my current circumstances. You can't pull existential self-reflection like that from loads of vacuous sitcoms. But I can do that with friends. And why is that? Again, you're not supposed to admire these people. You're supposed to just identify with them. But people started taking friends seriously and at face value. The Ross and Rachel storyline says it all. People were invested and were hoping that it would all end happily for them. Will they get together? Won't they get together? Will they be happy when they are together? No, of course not. Because they are categorically bad for one another. Everything that happened on this show proves it. And this sense of confusion and desperation is one, reflective of people's love lives in the real world, yes. But two... It is terrible for them. It's not healthy in the slightest. And they should move on, but they're trapped by their current circumstances and the fact that they share a big group of friends. And yet, for some reason, I'm supposed to go, no, oh, they got a happy ending after all that bullshit at the end of the last season. At which point I just bury my head in my hands and just scream, are you seriously fucking kidding me? They're just going to break up again. They always do. And that breakup is going to seriously mess that kid up. This is not a happy ending. Them embracing this depressing cycle of wondering whether they're right for each other, yet fucking again, is not a good thing. This keeps happening again and again. Just, uh, am I the only one fucking seeing this shit? I got off the plane. <laughs> No! Shut up, studio audience! This is the most tragic anti-climax possible! Just... God! Fuck! As the series wore on, I could see the writers trying to make it more obvious that it was meant to be a satire. The characters' traits got more over the top and exaggerated as time went by. You know, Monica goes from being kind of a control freak to this obsessive clean freak who almost faints when someone smashes a plate. Phoebe was always kind of over the top, but her backstory was added to and expanded on all the time, and it just got more ridiculous as time went by. Apparently she was the one who mugged Ross when he was a kid when she lived on the streets. I mean, Friends was always really silly. There was that really shit story arc from the early years where Ross had a pet monkey. There was that one episode where the lot of them start throwing a ball to one another just to see how long they can go without dropping it, which lasts fucking hours and leads to sleep deprivation. I mean, it's creative, isn't it? You can't deny that. Friends does get called a lot of things by people, but I would disagree the fuck out of you if you called it either bland or uncreative. The early years maybe, but around the middle, when the writers started clutching at straws, clutching at straws proved to be really good for the Friends writers, who were usually pretty sharp anyway. I'm not sure who or what I blame for the reputation that Friends has these days and the way lots of people view it. Maybe part of it is the fact that it was always played out of order and on general rotation on Channel 4 and other stations. People started treating it as just one of those shows that you just switch your brain off and just sit down in front of in the evening, and you just watch it without taking its ultimate message to heart about the unhealthy way that lots of us live our lives, and how we might be ultimately responsible for our own misery and how we sow the seeds of our own discord. Am I overthinking this? It's very, very possible that I am overthinking this, but I suppose my ultimate point in this video is that there is more than one way of looking at something, and even something that becomes fodder for general rotation has got an underlying artistic imperative that drives it. Intentional or not, Friends is all about getting to your late 20s, finding yourself with scraps of success and parts of your dreams, and just wondering... <sighs> 
well, what the fuck do I do now? Where do I go? What do I do? How do I act? How do I feel? How do I fit in in society? Is this what I really want? What do I really want? Why don't I know what I want? Why have I got to this stage in my life and I'm not happy? Whose fault is it that I'm not happy? I know, it's my ex-wife, it's my colleagues, it's my friends. Yeah, yeah, everything is everyone else's fault. Or is it, Ross? Is it really? So, I'm in my 30s now, considered a bit of a manslot, but I find I'm missing any kind of human connection to the people in my life. I really want a partner who's also my friend because, God, I'm so desperately lonely that I'd just give anything just to feel anything meaningful for another person. Okay, so I've run away from a cushy, spoilt lifestyle and I'm trying to make it on my own, but, but where the fuck am I going? Um, uh, um, I I'll be a waitress? Oh, but is that gonna fulfill me? No, no, of course not. I want to make it on my own in an industry that I'm interested in. Oh, but what if I'm not good enough to succeed in an industry that I'm interested in? And I'm going to subconsciously sabotage myself at every turn. Friends is all about keeping up a facade. We might look like outgoing, extroverted, successful people, smiling, happy, and dancing about in a fountain. But scratch beneath the surface and a little piece of me dies inside every day. 